If you've watched any of my content at all, you know I'm extremely bullish when it comes to the future of Cardano and ADA. And that still, to this day, has not changed. But what you have to realize is there is always the chance, there is always the chance that we may see some more downside. Now, I don't necessarily think that's going to happen, but remember, that possibility is always there. When we look at the chart here for ADA, we've started to go sideways again. We've gotten comfortable in this range. And right now, I would say that fear is actually our best friend, okay? Fear has presented a massive, massive opportunity, all right? When we look at this drop that we've experienced here, this 25% pullback, it's happened for one specific reason. And that is fear, fear that the U.S. may ban ADA, fear that the SEC may file a lawsuit against Cardano for selling an unregistered security or the fact or the fear that Cardano or uh, ADA may in fact be an unregistered security. What you have to realize is that none of this is substantiated at this point. None of this is confirmed. There's no lawsuit or anything like that. We basically got a 25 percent discount at this time. For nothing. Fear has presented a huge opportunity for us. Now, again, if there is a lawsuit that comes forward, if a bunch of ADA is dumped on the market, there's always the potential that we could move down, right? We could end up seeing that 17 cent ADA that we talked about last year. Now, again, I don't think that's going to happen. As always, this is not financial advice. I think, in fact, we kind of get sideways. We kind of start to climb probably to about 28 cents by mid July. Now, I know you guys want to hear a bigger rebound than that. I get it, right? I think we do need some sort of clarity from this Ripple VSEC case. I think that's going to be a huge indicator for the overall crypto market, and that's where you could see ADA get going again. I think we get something very similar to what we've seen here in May, right? We climbed from the from mid-May to basically the start of June until we got the SEC FUD. We just got kind of sideways, slowly ascending. That's what I think we begin to see right here. As there's no news that comes out, I think that's how the charts end up playing out. Now, what you have to realize is there's still always the possibility of you know negative macro factors that could affect the broader crypto market, that could affect the price of ADA, but at the same time, ADA is an asset that can move very quickly. Look at what happened multiple times this year so far. When we look at January or January to February, when we look at mid-March to mid-April, those climbs happened over just a one-month period and they were humongous moves to the upside. That's the potential that still lies in the tank for Cardano, ADA. And what you have to remember is at this time, the Cardano DeFi ecosystem has been booming. It's getting more use, more development, more adoption. And that continues to move on, continues to increase as there are more and more rollouts in the ecosystem. And what you have to realize is Cardano is not done for 2023. There are still so many more things to come, right? We still have not seen Midnight. We have not seen USDA. There are, are tons of things still in the bag for Cardano to launch this year. So the show is really just getting started. And imagine this. If we end up getting no sort of news from the SEC, if we do not end up getting a lawsuit, again, you just got a 25% discount on nothing. I see this as a massive opportunity. Even if the price does go lower, I still see that as a massive opportunity because what you have to remember is that the short-term price does not affect the long-term price. These movements right now in these bear market cycles have no effect on what you may see in a bull market. And we're not there yet, guys. <laughs> the bull market is coming. It's down the road. But just imagine, right? We're still, you know, essentially two and a half years from away away from what the market cycle high should be, okay, late 2025. If history repeats itself, which it tends to do in crypto, that's when we should see some all-time highs. And uh, when I say all-time highs, I'm talking well above what we're used to. But I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.